bell on and give this video a big thumbs up y'all excuse what i got on um it's night time and i just took a shower i got some little powder on my dang gone night shirt i got my little granny nightgown on <laughs> but you know i don't be caring how i be coming on this i sometimes i'm cute and sometimes i don't but you know your girl can put on Anyways, y'all, make sure y'all go follow my Instagram, Sharice Danielle Tech, and make sure y'all go follow me on Facebook, Sharice Danielle Tech. I put basically the same content on both, but you'll catch more on my Facebook than my Instagram. You'll see more of my life. Instagram, I try to add more stuff with nails. Sometimes I might mix it up, but you know. Anyways, enough talk. This video is sponsored by, as you see, Roslyn. Yeah, I love Roslyn products. Um, they tend to send me a bunch of new things that they have. Excuse all the noise, my son in the background. He excited because he got a new basketball game on his tablet, so y'all know how that goes. But, however, I have Roslyn products. Uh, so this is a a gel nail polish. This is for extension nails, and it's a soak off, and it's for UV or LED. So guys, I have a clear, and I have like a nude color. Let's read the instructions. So for this, you will for no step number one, apply the base coat and cure. Put a nail form on your nail. Apply the gel nail polish for nail extension and cure. Take off the form and shape extended nails. Apply the top coat and cure. What I'm going to do, I don't know if you're supposed to use primer and all that stuff, but I'm going to prep my nails how I would with extensions. And we just gonna get this started, y'all. So, thanks, Roslyn, for sponsoring this video. Here is the nude pink. Oh, it spilled out a little bit. And we have the clear. This is the clear. Um, I think I am going to use. I'm gonna just use this pink. These are how my nails look, y'all, after I took off them Halloween nails. How's everybody doing? Uh, I hope all is well. Your girl been trying to find somewhere to move. It's been hard in today's world because y'all know the market inflation has just took over, y'all. It took over. And stuff is so high, like... I miss them days when apartments and houses was like $400 for a one bedroom, uh, $600 for two. Like, we need to get back to those days. But I'm going to dehydrate my nail plate. Get all this stuff off of there. How? I know. You ain't doing right. I ain't do nothing. They did it. Mama. 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 No. I got it from the app store. App store? Yeah. This is my cuticle ball. And I'm just going to clean up my cuticle area. Make sure I get all the dead skin. Get up on it. Okay, you can stop it. The Kalahari video. The Kalahari video for your birthday. Oh, mm -hmm. Y'all should go watch so it. So now that I did that... I'm just going to gonna oh, use this buffer to buff my nails. 
I might go ahead and cut my cuticles now. I normally do it after I do my shaping and fouling, but I'm gonna cut my cuticles now. No, I'm not doing it. I told you to ask Cal. I tried to do it, he grabbed it. Mommy! Mama! No. <laughs> That's all that deer skin. Y'all see that? This is what you want to get rid of. You don't want to keep that on your cuticles. But you want to be careful though. Y'all just only want to get that white that's sitting up. I'm going to dehydrate my nails with some alcohol. I'm just gonna spray with some alcohol. This is how you do preparation. I'm apply some acid-free primer. I need to clean this off, y'all. This is a mess. It's just apply a little bit to each nail. You wanna not get this on the skin. So. Got some more noir palms. And I kind of just worked it. And you want to secure it right underneath your nail. Just like that. Make sure it's under there. Attach the bottom. And that's how you work that one. And I just like pinch the top a little bit. Ooh, and that's secure. I can feel that. We just gonna continue to put forms on. I have all my forms on my nails. And I'm just going to start with the pinky. Oh, I want that basketball. Oh, but it's a heart. It's right up right here. Cow, oh, this I want that ball. I want that ball. Cow. It's horrible right here. Oh, this is right, horrible. I'm gonna just turn that around for a little bit. <laughs> Cause that cow. Is not what's up. Cut. That's horrible. <laughs> okay, so now we about to go ahead and work on this one. Now that I got the hang of how this liquid, I mean not liquid, but how this gel is, I can work a little bit better with it. That's not you, bro. You white team. That's you right there. Okay. You right there. What? I. That's you. 
Yeah, use both hands, bro. Let me extend this a little bit yes. more. Come in. No. The move. Okay. Let that level out. No, stop passing it. And put it in there for 60 seconds. Forms is not me. sticking. I'm gonna have to put some different ones on because I don't Let's like these. Go. My forms just kept falling off. I'm gonna have to use some different ones, some better ones, the ones that I showed y'all at first that I didn't end up using. And I use these, but I think what I'm going to do is just create the tips of each nail and then form the whole thing out. One of them, I'm a form. Yeah, that's how, that's, that's just, that's just how I'm gonna do it. I did that one, I can take this off and I have the tip on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on my middle and my thumb. I'm back, everybody is laying down now and now I can focus better on these nails. Yeah, this stuff is like, I like it. I just gotta get used to working with this stuff. I'm used to acrylics, but I kinda like this. I feel like once I get the hang of this, I'll be able to like do some nice sets with this stuff. What we gotta do. So I kind of like start in the middle, kind of push my brush back a little bit so it'll go a little closer to the cuticle, but not too close. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to get all this on your cuticle and flood it in. Look at this, Dom. This is <laughs> ridiculous. Like, I overpacked it, overdid it with this one, oh, but it's okay. But these ones look okay. I just got to do a little filing and stuff, but. Oh, this is crystal clear. I like this. I'm gonna use my, this is my non-cotton swab. I like these because it don't leave, um, dang, do I got anything in the bottle? <laughs> it don't leave that cotton on your nails. Uh, I just wanted to show y'all how this stuff falls off so smooth and clean. Like, these nails look good. So, you don't even really need it on a high speed, to be honest. Like, you barely need to apply pressure to foul this stuff. Like, with acrylic and stuff like that, you might need it on a higher speed to get it that look you want, but with this, we go, and I kind of like that. And it takes less time to fail. Like right there, I think I fouled too much, but it ain't nothing for me to add a little bit there. Y'all, these came out so cute. Let me put the light a little closer. What y'all think? Did I do good? I definitely fixed that thumb though. That thumb was wild. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just about to design these. Something cute and simple. 
Ooh, I think I know what I want to do. I think I'm going to do some cat French tips. Y'all, that's going to be cute. But I just want to do the tips. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I was just looking up the price of this builder gel that I used from Rosalyn, and it's $8.99. So, like, you could create the cat at the tip or at the bottom, on the side. You could just get creative with it. I'm going to use my yellow glow. That's what I'm going to do. It's going to be cold because his eyes going to glow in the dark. His eyes going to glow in the dark. So, I'm going to put this white to the side. Oh, shoot. I'm tripping. First, I have to do my ears, which I didn't do yet. I'm over here just overthinking. As usual, I'm an overthinker when it comes to nail art or any type of art, to be honest. I be wanna go to the max. And y'all, um, if y'all wanna update on how the shop is going, not going <laughs> y'all my brother is my contractor and um you know how to go with family he is taking his sweet old time with me so we are gonna see when it's gonna be open hopefully before winter fingers crossed if not I'm gonna probably do a grand open for 2023. Oh, I'm about to go ahead and do the paw hand or whatever. Boom. Cure. Okay. This is the next part that I'm going to do. I'm going to create some scratches. So, with that being said, I'm going to need... I'm back. So, I just got some nude that was close to the color I have on my nails. And this is how I'm going to create those slits in my nails. Because I don't know why I tried to use gel. But gel definitely is not going to work for that. And that with gel. And you want to make sure your beads kind of dry while you're doing this. You don't want it to look flat. I'm about to go ahead and create some blood using this and this. I'm just going to mix them together a little bit to give me 
that bloody effect. I'm gonna use this as a palette. I really feel like that's like blood. Okay, that's giving blood. Yeah, I'm just going to create the dots with this. And then I'm going to use my thinner brush. Sure. We're going to do the pole. The pole. So, to make this easier on me, I'm going to do because it's really like a heart to be honest. So, I'm just going to create a dot here, a dot there. And I'm going to create a little heart. The Mr. Puzz. And then we have to create that. Yeah, see. Well, that. You want to make sure you put it in the same area or it's going to look like this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> hey, I remember I drew something one time and uh, it was a face and I did the eyes or whatever. And man, that was my first time drawing a person on nails. Them eyes was so cross-eyed and she like these are cute but in my head i'm like girl i know you lying because this lady look cross-eyed in the mug but obviously she liked it now this is where i go in with the blood my blood that I created. And I'm just gonna put it in the slits. Just make it look realistic, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that look good. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this clear gel. Bye, Rosalind. I'm just gonna put some right here. Just a decent amount. I'm gonna use this brush to, to do the 3D effect. But this you gotta you gotta work fast with. So I'm just gonna cover that eye with gel and pop it in the oven. Boom. 
Don't want to let it sit too long because it's going to spread. It's going to spread like a pancake. Good, there we go. The eye is poking hot. And you want to do the same thing with each nail. And just make sure you only get it on the eye. No way else. See, that ain't even cure all the way. Cause first I'm gonna start with this little part right here, the heart part. That's what I'm gonna call it. The height. And then I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing like I said, so I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm done. This is the finishing product. Y'all, these are so cute. Y'all like them. What y'all think? Comments below and let me know what y'all think of these cat nails for Halloween. And they glow in the dark, y'all. Y'all wanna see? I gotta turn out all these lights. Look, it's so cute. Ain't it, y'all? That's just cute. Like, and if I put the light on it, it just look like even spookier. It's just so cute. Turn the lights back on. Make sure y'all comment, like, and share. And, um,. We might get to doing some more of these gel nails, like, because I'm feeling these gel nails. But we're going to see how they last, though. We might get into doing some of that on this channel. And I'm really, like, just digging these short, cute, like, I got to do my other hand. I might do a video doing my other hand, or I might just do it. I don't know. Should I do a video? But anyways, y'all. I ain't gonna keep y'all longer. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what your girl Rhea is doing. See y'all in the next video. Peace. Mwah.